Shinji Yamanaka in uh, Japan, as well as in San Francisco at the Gladstone Institute, as well as John Gurdon in Cambridge. And basically what they showed was you could take a developed adult cell, like a skin cell, like a fibroblast or whatever cell type you want, and you can treat it with four, now you can get down to three uh, transcription factors, genes, uh, in a dish, and it will reset the epigenetic age to basically a day zero embryonic-like stem cell, and it will also reset the identity, the cellular identity, so go from like a skin cell or a liver cell to kind of like an embryo type cell. Um, and for aging, you actually don't want to reset the uh, cell type. So you, you don't want your whole body to turn into an embryo. Uh, you want to preserve your cellular tissue identity. And so there have been advances in the last few years um, in transient epigenetic reprogramming, partial reprogramming, which resets the epigenetic age but retains cellular identity. Uh, Calico's done a lot of work on this. Alejandro Campo in Switzerland's done some of this uh, and a whole lot of others. So that has excited people a lot. And um, when I give public talks, I often lead with this sort of provocative statement, which is uh, a biological immortality is already possible and it's a solved problem, but at the level of cells, not yet at the level of whole organisms. 